If you bought a 14 or 16 inch MacBook Pro, you probably wanna save some money on external SSDs. As someone that's been editing a lot of video off of a Mac mini M1 for the past six months, I can tell you that using an external optical spinning hard drive versus using an external SSD, you're gonna want all your footage on an SSD. But small SSDs like this are relatively expensive for the amount of storage you can get. And today I'm gonna to show you how to build your own two terabyte SSD for under $200. If you did pick up a 14 or 16 inch MacBook Pro and you're gonna be using external hard drives, you might wanna pick up one of these external hard drive holders. I'll leave links to this and everything you're gonna need for this in the description down below. There are many reasons why you should be using an external hard drive if you have an M1 Mac. Least of all is reliability. In my case, reliability is the main concern, and this is a huge benefit of SSDs. The fact that they have no moving parts means they're not susceptible to shock, and it means that you can overall expect a better lifespan, especially if you're someone that has to take them on the go. I use a service called Backblaze, which is an unlimited cloud backup service, which is absolutely phenomenal to use if you don't wanna have redundant local backups, and it's how I am recovering this lost hard drive here today. Now, all you need to make your own external SSD is an external hard drive enclosure. In this case, I'm using one from Orico and a SATA SSD. In this case, we chose the Samsung 870 QVO SATA version three, although you can opt for a Western Digital two terabyte blue drive. That'll be up to $20 cheaper on Amazon, but in my experience, the Samsung drives have performed the best in the long run. Now, this hard drive enclosure that I'm using is absolutely nothing special. And if you want to have multiple external SATA SSDs, you might wanna check out this Adata one that I'll link down below. And the process of doing this and making it is quite simple. You simply have to open up the enclosure, insert your SATA drive, make sure the pins are correctly lined up. And in my case, with this Orico enclosure, screw it all back together, connect it to your computer, and then format the drive to whatever file format works best with your machine. In my case, I use used XFAT is it's compatible with both PC and Mac. You guys can obviously pick any hard drive enclosure that you want. This one just happened to be a rugged hard drive enclosure I could get here in Vietnam for pretty cheap. Sure, you can get USB-C enclosures, but I wanted to find you guys the cheapest way to build an external SSD for your laptop. And being able to get two terabytes at under 200 bucks, I think is a great deal. And honestly, having something like this makes my entire process for my style of editing on YouTube so much easier. I hope this video was helpful. And until next time, it's been Mitchell. Peace.